I was uh, recently watching a reel on uh, something that has happened in Coimbatore where they have uh, laid these I don't know what they're called yes. with which they're able to do amazing rainwater harvesting. That's an excellent example of harvesting rainwater and collecting it. But even simpler ones exist in Bangalore for in many gated communities where you make a series of recharge wells in the stormwater drain. Right. You make sure that the water is filtered and pushed in into the well 30 feet deep, 40 feet deep and it recharges the aquifer. So yes, there are many innovation possible and we should work towards innovation in capturing this runoff which is very precious for us and that too would be BWSSB's mandate no that no. would be okay. the BBMP's mandate because the roads belong to the BBMP and the stormwater drains belong to the BBMP and making sure the city has enough water would be the BWSSB's job here is the thing what we need is something called an integrated urban water management institution like I said an institution which looks at all the four dams right we don't have that but there's a lot of uh, exchange now for when the lakes are getting rejuvenated in Bangalore so in this rains in uh, March, which came suddenly, 63 lakes filled up, mm. about 25 lakes filled up 60% or 70%, which immediately increased the groundwater table in the surrounding environs, which lessened the burden on the BWSSB mm. because bore wells were working, tankers were working, mm. right? So now there's much more of a joint understanding that we need to manage the groundwater better and our lakes better. Mm. And so the lakes then are supplied by treated wastewater from the BWSSB. They're owned by the BBMP, BWSSB fills it up. So the interaction has increased. It will hopefully increase more so that we manage it more holistically. I'm trying to understand this a little better. You said wastewater goes into the lakes yeah. and that helps increase the groundwater. And when the groundwater increase is happening, the quality of the water of the lake does not really impact. It does. But what happens is the lake itself acts as a treatment unit. So there's uh -huh. algae growing in it. and uh, Which purifies the water. Which purifies the water. Okay. Then it filters through the earth. So the earth does a lot of filtration of the water. However, we need to improve the wastewater that enters into the lake. It should be treated. Okay. It should be removed from phosphates and nitrates, which will cause too much of an algal bloom. That needs to be controlled and managed. It's the best suboptimal route that we have for ourselves. The best suboptimal route. <laughs>